Is your home ready for what ES coming? A major winter weather pattern is locking into place right now and the south is directly in the crosshairs. Drop a comment below with your location and I'll give you specific forecast details for your area. Here's what is happening in the next 48 hours. Wednesday afternoon, January 14th, a massive energy system slams into the southeast. We re-tracking rain mixing with snow across the Cumberland Plateau. Higher elevations in North Carolina and Tennessee, already seeing accumulation. But here is the critical part at the 32nd mark. This is just wave number one. I am tracking three separate Arctic air masses heading south over the next 10 days. The second wave hits this weekend, and wave number three could be the strongest. Overnight Wednesday into Thursday morning, heavy snow blankets the entire Appalachian mountain range. We are talking 6 to 12 inches in some areas. The I-95 corridor stays mostly rain, but that changes fast. Thursday morning brings the first blast of Arctic air. Temperatures plummet 15 to 20 degrees below average across the entire region. Some southern cities could see record-breaking lows in the teens. Where are you watching from right now? Comment your city or town. I'll give you the timeline for your specific area. Friday morning, Northern Stream Energy dives south with reinforcing cold air. Light to moderate snow develops across the Great Lakes, Midwest, and Ohio Valley. This isn't your typical winter dusting. We are looking at persistent snow bands that could drop three to six inches. Here is something the models are showing that concerns me. Friday evening, light snow and flurries start popping up across the Mid-South. Areas that rarely see winter weather are now in play. Saturday morning, January 17th, and this is where things get interesting. Light snow develops across northern Georgia, extreme upstate South Carolina, the Piedmont of North Carolina. Even the Carolinas see flurries. This is not normal January weather for these areas. The best part is coming at minute 5. Stay with me. Saturday afternoon brings a developing system across the upper Mid-South and Mid-Atlantic. Light rain and snow mix dancing around these regions. But here's what the models are really showing. Round after round of light to moderate snow for days on end across the northern tier, multiple model runs are tracking this pattern. The Euro model at 12Z shows energy separation, with moisture trying to connect with cold air. The 18Z run confirms the pattern holds. Sunday morning, New England sees accumulating snow. But Don T click away yet because MLK Day, Monday the 19th, shows moisture trying to creep up across the western deep south. Cold air is in place, waiting. Here's what I promised at minute 5. We are entering what meteorologists call Phase 8 of the MJO cycle. For winter weather fans, Phases 8, 1, and 2 are the glory phases. Combined with late January being climatologically the coldest time of year, this pattern could deliver. The GFS model tells a slightly different story, but the outcome is the same. Wednesday afternoon shows the system diving down. Wednesday night, heavy snow in the Smokies and southern Appalachian Mountains, possibly as far south as northern Georgia. Thursday morning on the GFS, snow reaches as far south as the Piedmont of South Carolina. A secondary low develops and throws moisture back into the cold air. Eastern North Carolina could see accumulation. Now here, S the shocking part. The energy is separating into two distinct waves. The upper low trends north while a short wave lags behind with the main trough. This creates multiple opportunities for winter weather. Are you prepared? Comment below if you've stocked up on supplies. The Canadian model shows the most aggressive scenario. It develops a coastal low off the Carolinas. On some runs, this brings significant snow to the Charleston-Myrtle Beach corridor. We are talking 3 to 6 inches in areas that see snow maybe once every 5 years, but here s the reality check. Not every run shows this. The Euro says no connection. The 18Z Euro also says no, but 2 out of 5 models are still holding on to the possibility. This is time frame number 1, Wednesday through early Friday morning. Keep watching, because time frame number 2 is even more significant. Friday the 16th through Monday the 19th is time frame 2. This weekend system has better cold air in place. Saturday and Sunday both show snow development across Georgia, the Carolinas, even into Tennessee and Kentucky. Temperature anomalies tell the real story. Thursday afternoon, we re-looking at highs 15 to 20 degrees below average. Southern cities hitting the teens for overnight lows. This is record territory. The second Arctic blast arrives this weekend. 
This one positions further west, giving better cold air coverage across the south. Then comes Arctic Blast number three next week. This could be the deepest cold penetration, especially for the Great Lakes region. How far south does it reach? That's what we're rewatching. Here is something wild. Every model run is trending colder. The run to run temperature change shows blue across the map. Blue means colder than the previous run. We are not talking one or two degrees. We were seeing five to 10 degree drops in successive runs. Late next week, potentially the 23rd through 26th, models are lighting up. Multiple meteorologists are highlighting this time frame. It s beyond day seven, beyond day 10, but the signal is there. One long range run shows a significant ice storm potential for the Carolinas. That s over 300 hours out, way beyond reliable forecast range, but the pattern supports it. Don T missed this next part. The MJO forecast is critical. Right now, we are in phase six or seven. By end of this week, we transition into phase seven. Then we boat race through phase seven into phase eight. Phase eight arrives right as we hit the climatologically coldest time of year, mid to late January. This combination is powerful for winter weather. Where are you located? Drop your city in the comments for specific timing. The Euro weekly extends through the end of February. It shows over two inches of average snowfall down into Columbia, South Carolina. The eastern U.S. stands out with consistent wintry signals. This isn't a forecast for four inches in Nashville or snow in northern Georgia. This is the weekly model saying winter is not over. More opportunities are coming. My prediction, by one week from today, we'll be tracking another winter weather threat for the south. Picture us sitting here next Monday evening, January 19th, analyzing the next system on the horizon. Is this kicking the can? Maybe. But the pattern supports multiple opportunities. Here is what concerns me most. We've avoided any major ice storms this winter so far. Statistically, we redo. With this pattern, with moisture overrunning cold air, the setup is there for a significant icing event. Someone is going to get hit. Temperature trends continue colder week after week. The January 23rd to 26th time frame could be explosive. Models show moisture hitting cold air right across the prime winter weather zone. The GFS long range shows a winter weather event late next work week. Then cold air pours down behind it. A big overrunning event sets up to the north, turning into a major winter storm for the northeast. After that, another system tracks through, then another. This pattern is locked in. Looking at the broader picture, we had three straight winters that underdelivered for the South. This winter started slow. December was a dud. Early January looked questionable, but January 12th changed everything. We re-staring down three shots of Arctic air. The pattern has flipped. The cold is here to stay through month's end. Late January into early February historically produces the biggest winter storms for the South. We re-entering that window now with an active pattern already established. One more time, drop your location in the comments. I'll respond with specific details for your area. Are you in the mountains, Piedmont, coastal region? Each zone has different timing and impacts. The overnight model runs will be critical. We could wake up to exciting changes, but even if we don T, remember this, when we get a couple exciting runs, they were usually offset by a couple conservative runs. The trend is what matters, not individual runs. The trend right now is clear. Colder, more active, multiple opportunities. This is what we've been waiting for since December. Here is the timeline summary. Wednesday through Friday is time frame one. Appalachian snow is guaranteed. Southern snow is possible, but not certain. Saturday through Monday is time frame two. Better cold air coverage. Snow development across Georgia, the Carolinas, Tennessee. This has higher confidence. Next week, January 20th through 26th, is time frame three. This could be the big one. Arctic air in place, active southern stream, moisture, overrunning cold air. The pieces are aligning. Models will fluctuate. Some runs will excite you. Others will disappoint. That S normal. What S not normal is this persistent cold pattern combined with active energy in late January. Two weeks ago, I had doubts about this winter. It felt like it might be a total dud. No winter weather advisories, no excitement, just another warm, boring winter. That feeling has completely changed. The pattern has changed. The data has changed. The confidence has changed. We re not done yet, not even close. This isn't about one system. This is about a three-week pattern that s delivering multiple chances. 
Even if your specific location misses on time frame 1 and time frame 2, time frame 3 is still coming. The Euro Ensemble, GFS Ensemble, Canadian Ensemble all agree. Below normal temperatures continue through month end. Active weather continues through month end. For winter weather fans across the South, your time is now. The next three weeks could deliver what the last three months didn't tee. Keep checking back. We'll update every evening with the latest model runs. Tomorrow morning, we'll see what overnight runs showed. This pattern is real. This cold is real. These opportunities are real. Are you ready? Comment below. See you tomorrow morning with the next.